hello and welcome everybody so this is just the first part of this uh, hopefully quick series and this part we will talk about the RBD the rigid body movement and the fracturing and simulation not the water water later on because I'm still rendering see it's taking me a lot of time but so we'll talk about this part only now this one aside so this is the scene I started with uh, let's stop the simulation here so first let me remove the back I'll already keep the background this is the geometry as a car so this is our lovely smashed re uh, vintage car that we will use to sim and throw it to the glass okay so I took it from here out and this is uh, the material just basic material and I uncheck the display and import it to the swimming pool even it's winter and it's cold I don't know how people will go and swim so these are the material from the glitif uh, file now this is the geometry that today we'll talk about this node what's going on here so I start from the top all the way here so this is how we import this is the geometry it consists of glass bar and uh, concrete a roof and inside it we have swimming pool very lovely then I plastered these uh, lines because uh, I was thinking to add vellum uh, simulation for it but then uh, because already my scene is very very heavy so I didn't do it so this is for reference I think it should be bigger anyway then I split it I took the water surface of the pool to make it as a guide and here the remaining so this is the remaining of the swimming pool without the surface after that I made a group just for the swimming pool uh, geometry that I will use in the flip simulation so regarding pool setup so I went here and I isolated this group the pool tile that I named so this is it it's a single uh, face that need to be extruded later just for reference I added an also I can forward it to the flip simulation so here I extruded it as extrude volume so it take it down minus 10 so it's closed now okay after that I reapplied normal because we created a new geometry then this is a null for the geo I made it a VDB this is the VDB and here is an assembly but I didn't use the assembly so this is the VDB anyway then I have the wall set up so we have the wall set up now wall wall set up so for the wall set up I isolated the wall all of it excluding the wall okay then I did a split and I choose this is the area that will be shattered facing the car I did another split and I just choose this and compare to this see we have the bars so I did another split just to select the glass and the concrete and then this is just the glass I selected the glass I fully extruded it because it's not extruded 
it's, it's a, th a thin surface okay then I did a boolean just to have only the glass surface so this is all glass only that is extruded and 3d so in the boolean I did the subtract a this one from B this is the remaining these are the column so I don't have uh, crossing geometry and uh, mixing uh, geometry to give me error already I have error here I fully extruded the glass so it's a uh, watertight surface then I made the groups uh, before the groups yeah here I have the wire, uh, the frame, the frame they are crossing also in the middle if I press W, see, they are crossing, there is lines in between, so how you get rid of the inner lines, you pull in on the same geometry, A and B from the same geometry, and you make it union, if you did that, see, it's gone, it's there, now it's gone, so this is how you clean up your geometry, and then I did another boolean and this boolean for what? I forget for what anyway so the first group that we have is for the class and we name it the uh, sorry the base frame this one down second one is the tall uh, column that's from concrete and this is the glass and we did dollar OS so we take whatever name is here so this is the glass and this is the remaining frame that's already cleaned out then I deleted the glass and I kept the frame below here but I didn't use because I make it negative uh, inactive so here's a uh, before I go to the simulation, I make the active attribute that will be considered during the RPD solver as active as zero, so it's inactive. So I can decide exactly where I want the sim uh, simulation to happen to minimize the loading time and the simulation time. So each one, so all coming to the RPD as inactive. Now this is the RPD fracturing phase. First, I went with the tall column. I give them fracturing as uh, concrete. Total of hundred. I didn't go higher. The higher, the better. And if you add details, it will be even better. And I back it. Also, most important thing because I have multiple uh, RPD material fracture nodes. I made sure that I have a tag name for each one so this one is column so when it go to the RBD solver it will can be differentiated and we can isolate it later on this is for the glass and I choose concrete just to save time you can use the glass feature also but I increased it to 500 and I back it backing so I can merge them all then and bagging them later on this one also is a concrete with the, with the tag name of frame fracture and to be backed also this one I don't know this is the base and it was included in the static geometry so everybody is backed now if you can see here three points one two three all backed okay sorry where am I here should be here nine bolts or so then I unpack it it will unpack it so I can have the geometry the constraint that created and the proxy geometry also here in this step I included the car also so let's go to the car setup so this is the car setup. I merged the car, so this is our vintage car, match size it, plus the ground that's down, 
and I make the transform I put it far away from the glass wall and here I make it uh, I created a name attribute and I created back name I can name it a car okay and the active the other were inactive this one is one so it's active I added a velocity with trial and error 30 and 16 so it will go jump like this like this Whee! and I group all the points and if you can see here uh, in the solver let's open it this is how it fly flipped it like this so it will enter the glass it will face the camera that's why we make it like this and the constraint are weak the moment it hit or collide with the ground it will scatter so it will it will hit the surface here the column and the glass it will also fracture and it's from far away so no need for details okay so this is the phase of constraint now. So I merge it the RPD node and the car. The constraint also merged and RPD configure. What I put in this one. So I said. Uh, it's about the active uh, attribute that we created uh, upstream for the pieces to be active whatever that is using the bound of this sphere so let's visualize the sphere this is the sphere so whatever inside this sphere will be active outside will be inactive so it will not uh, contribute to the solution only as a static object okay so if this one animated it will affect also then the second constraint is the connector and this one is between the tall column and the glass so as you can see here it's created between these two then the second uh, constraint is between the glass frame the glass and these frames it will be connected here so when it yeah but so when when it uh, fracture it will st be remaining still connected see the black then i have the third one is between the frame and the tall column so between this and this is black so they are connected tall column and base frame between this and this And this is the solver. Already it's cached. Let's have a look. This is where it fracture. Good. Here, before uh, that, in the collision area, I have the following. I added the wool. I added a wall so it will uh, uh, bounce from it and I create uh, and the roof also and the ground so whatever fall down from the glass will not just fall for if infinity it will come here so 
like for this frame yeah, it's accumulated in the areas you can see inside the pool VB, VDB setup is uh, for the flip fluid briefly I took a transform pieces I think this will be included in the second video when, when I put it out that this is the static objects yeah. and remaining this is the render off later on we'll come to it so again not this one So again, this is the preliminary video. And see you soon. Thank